Welcome back to our When Is The Right Time To series. All right, subscribe and click that bell. All right, let's yeah. go. This is Ask John in April, and today's question is, when is the right time to? Say I love you. Ah, that's a good one. That is. Again, the timing is crucial on this one. Definitely. So now you have uh, decided to date this person, you have already kissed them for the first time, <laughs> and now you're trying to figure out when to say I love you. Yeah, you've fallen in love with this person, you really want to say it. Yes. But do you think that it's the right time based on how they might feel? Maybe they're not ready for that. Maybe they're not. A couple things to keep in mind. First of all, the person that you're dating may come from a background where they didn't hear I love you very much. And so they might respond to those words differently than you think they might. Right, it may be something that is uncomfortable for them or makes them feel like they're about to go into a serious relationship that they're not ready for. That's right. So the words I love you are some power packed words. It could bring a smile to their face, but it also could make them think, wait a minute, what I get into? I love you. This guy's gonna ask me to marry him next. Right, right. <laughs> you should not be in an extremely emotional state. Right. So for instance, let's just say that you had a tragic experience in your life and you're feeling especially emotional, like maybe uh, you're at a funeral or something like that, or, or you just had some other kind of tragedy and you're really feeling mushy. It may not be the right time to say I love you because you might not be in the right frame of mind. Exactly. Maybe you're actually just being emotional about that other thing and you think you want to say I love you and then you'll regret it later on. So that's not the time to do it. Another time you shouldn't say I love you is when you're drunk. <laughs> Please, if you drink and you're drunk, do not do I'm it. Hung over, that's not the time. <laughs> you also don't want to say it when you're in an extremely sexually charged situation. Mm. That's not usually the right time. You're usually not in the right frame of mind in that situation either. Remember, you want to make sure that when you say I love you, that you actually mean it. And you don't always know whether or not you mean it based on the emotions that you're having at the time. Right. Good point. You also don't want to say it when you're rewarding somebody for a good gesture. Right. You know, you get a gift for your birthday that's like, oh my goodness, right. she got me a pair of Jordans, what? I love you. You, <laughs> <laughs> you might want to say, I love these Jordans. There you go. <laughs> now let's start talking about when you seem to be approaching the right time. Yeah. So I feel like some months should have gone by yes. before you say those three words. Yeah, it just so happens that the difference between love and lust is really shown in time. You don't always yeah, know right away. Time always tells. Sometimes when you first start dating somebody and you like certain things about them, uh, you may think it's love, but it might actually be lust. The only way to really know is that lust always peters out over time, True. but love grows over yeah. time. So if you really yeah. love the person, just give it time. It, there's, there's no reason to rush saying I love you. True. So let a few months pass first before you really even consider it. You can also ask if they can see a future with you. Right. If, you, if you ask them whether or not they think this is going somewhere, yeah. then maybe there's a chance that the person would reciprocate when you say I love you. You exactly. don't want the, you don't want to put that out there and the person is like, I just wanted to date for a little bit. Right. I wasn't trying to have this to be, this was just a fun time, right. going out with somebody, right. enjoying phone calls, going to the movies. Yeah. It may not have been where I see this person as my life partner. That's right. So you gotta think about that because those three words are very important and they're words that you should really say for the right person that you're actually in love with. I agree. Yeah. You also can say I love you when you're determined you're in it for the long haul. Yes, if you it's know. clear to you that this is something that you think is really going somewhere, exactly. that's when you should start really trying to profess your love for the other person. Right, yeah. and not really thinking about whether they're gonna respond. You know, you're like, this is who I wanna be with. Right. I know this is the one for me. Yes. I'm just gonna tell her or tell him. Last thing, make sure that you say I love you in person. Right, this is not like the other things that we talked about where you can actually say them in a text message. Just make sure that you do it in person. And the reason why is because it's important to be able to see body language. Exactly. If the person is like, really? Yeah. You know, you might not want to. <laughs> right. It, it, it's pretty important in this case that it has to be done in person if, if it's the first time that you've ever said I love you to the person. Be willing to be vulnerable. Yes. As long as the time is right yeah. and you feel strong about this person, this relationship, go ahead, say I love you and let the chips fall where they may. That's right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I got a I love you back when I said I love you to you, baby. Yeah. I wanted to say it right away. I know. There's no way that was We working. definitely waited on that one. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we hope that helps you. All right. See you next time. Bye. You know, they're looking like, or, or. <laughs>
like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also hit that notification bell to be notified about our next episode. See you next time. Bye.